If we want to maximize the area, then that means we want to find the area, and perhaps we would find the area by knowing the length and the width, right? And that immediately tells us like our objective equation. So objective, you know, like I said, in this case will be area because we're trying to maximize the area, which is length times width. That being said, that's a two variable equation. We're in single variable calculus. Multivariable calculus is calculus three. So we need some way to reduce this to a single variable equation instead of a two variable equation, right? So we need a constraint equation. But there's a phrase inside of this problem that constrains the two variables, which is this, you're given 100 feet of fencing. So if you've got 100 feet of fencing and then this sort of picture, what's your constraint equation? So we've got L plus 2W is 100, right? So we might as well solve that for one of the variables. It looks a little bit easier to solve for L, correct? So we have L equals 100 minus 2 times W. And then, well, that brings us pretty quickly to wanting a maximum value of this equation right here, A, which is equal to W times 100 minus 2 times W. And then maybe while we're at it, we can approach this a couple of different ways. We can approach this without restraining W to an interval, or we can approach this with restraining the values of W. Um, I think that when it's possible to restrain the values of W, you should, just because that is always a little bit trickier and it's good to get like some practice with that. So in this case, we can restrain the values of W. And oftentimes when you're trying to create a uh, interval for this kind of problem, you want to look at the like the silliest versions of the picture to find the endpoints. So the silliest thing on the low end would be W, right? And then what's the silliest thing on the top end? Yeah, 50. And that's because really you've got two things. It's just those two things are going straight out and straight back, right? So that would be, well, 100 divided by 2. So we've got 50. So those are your values of W. So perhaps in the language of a couple of days ago, that would be finding the maximum value of this equation, A equals W times 100 minus W on the closed interval from zero to 50. And this little step of determining the interval actually saves us down the line because we don't have to muck around with the first or second derivative test.